Uh, this is John Flat 6 Motorsports, and today we're showcasing and testing the M Engineering Tune for the 992 Carrera. Now the M Engineering Tune is developed for the 992 Carrera. It works with the Carrera, Carrera S, and GTS. They also have a tune and calibration available for the Turbo. So all of this is applicable to all of those platforms. But today we're gonna to be testing a base 992 Carrera. Now the tune itself is gonna increase power. It does that by raising boost pressure, increasing timing, adding fuel adjustments. And we'll test that on the dyno and with draggy numbers to validate their claims. Uh, but Worth possibly the price alone is the features that this tuning solution comes with. Now, one of my favorite features of this tuning solution is the cold start elimination. Now, one thing that you might notice with your 992 that is super annoying is no matter how warm or cold the car is, it's gonna go through a cold start sequence to warm up the catalyst. And that means roughly about a minute and a half of time where your car sounds like a generator. <laughs> This probably annoys your neighbors. This tune helps eliminate that so you can just start it up and no cold start. Now another great feature of this is the Porsche Sport Exhaust if your 992 is equipped. Usually when you push it, one thing you might not know is you can kind of hear that changeover at idle, but the valves still close, typically between one and 4,000 RPM. With this tune, it actually keeps this button as a true on-off button. So you can hit the button, it turns it on, keeps the valves open all the time. You can hit it again and it keeps them closed all the time. That's a really nice feature to have. In addition, the start-stop automatically can be disabled. Now you will find in the stock 992 that you have to get in every time you start the car, hit that button if you don't want your car stopping at a stoplight. In addition to those features, it also enables you to rev the motor past 4,000 RPM in neutral. And if you prefer, you can get the burbles removed in sport mode on deceleration. So if you're not a fan of the pops and burbles on, uh, in the sport mode or sport plus mode, those can also be disabled. Now installation of the M engineering tuning solution is very simple. It comes with this OBD dongle. You plug that into the OBD port. Now you will need a laptop or a computer for the M tuner software. That M tuner software allows you to read information off. You'll just put that in an email to us or M engineering directly. You'll get a tune file back within a business day and then you just flash your car. That process takes about 15 minutes. Now what's really nice about this M tuner software is you can load the tune or uninstall the tune at any time. So if you're concerned about taking it for a service appointment, you have the tools in your software suite to take this on or off the car at any time. And now that we have the tune loaded to the car, we're gonna take it to the dyno and get some numbers with its stock and with the tune. And we'll also take it out for some quarter mile testing and get some draggy numbers to validate the performance on the street. So testing went very well with this car. As you can see on the dyno plot here, in the gray is the baseline runs, and in the blue is the M Engineering Stage 1 tune. And so at the max power, it added 48 wheel horsepower and 114 foot-pounds of torque. Now those are over the stock numbers. What's really important is to dive into this area under the curve. And as you can see, there's peak gains of 101 wheel horsepower and 116 foot-pounds of torque. So you're gonna feel that. That's a tremendous amount of power added. And you definitely feel it when you're driving the car. Um, it's in that 60 to 80 wheel horsepower range for majority of the power band. So you're really getting real world results with this. And that showed up on the dragging numbers. As a reminder for people who are new to this channel, our quarter mile drag strip is a bit unofficial. It's got a little kink, a little uphill, a little bumpy. So we'll never set earth shattering numbers, but it's important to measure consistency before and after. And as you can see, it took off 0.56 seconds, zero to 60. 0.65 seconds in the quarter mile and it trapped 5.3 miles an hour faster in the quarter mile. 
So those are pretty impressive results with just software. It actually puts this car at pretty much a stock 911 992 GTS. So the price differential of $20,000 plus on the MSRP side, obviously you're getting a few to other packages with the GTS, but for $2,500, you can put the tune on and have GTS power figures and acceleration figures, which is very impressive. We tested a stock GTS, so we have all that data and it's pretty much identical in terms of power quarter mile performance zero to 60 times. Um, so that's pretty interesting, particularly in the used market right now where the GTSs are commanding maybe a 50 to $60,000 premium. Uh, just with software and no other modifications, you can have that performance. So overall, as you can see, we're pretty impressed with the M Engineering Tune and this is why we recommend it for the 992 chassis. It adds great power that you're gonna feel every day on the street and also backs it up on the dyno and the dragging numbers. Real world performance as we validated here at Flat Six. Hey, if you're interested in this tune, link in the description below will take you right there. And we also have a slew of 992 solutions at flat6.com. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one.